Hello, this is the National Weather Service in Jackson with an updated weather briefing recorded on the afternoon of June 17, 2021. The National Hurricane Center has classified a tropical disturbance over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico as potential tropical cyclone 3. The system is expected to develop into a tropical or subtropical depression or storm and move northward through the end of the week into this weekend. Expected to make landfall on the Gulf Coast sometime late Friday night or early Saturday morning, then continue tracking across our area on the day during the day on Saturday and pulling away from our area on Sunday. The primary impact from this system in our area is going to be from heavy rainfall. And there could be enough heavy rainfall that it could result in some flash flooding with the highest potential across the Pine Belt portion of our region where three to six inches of rain is expected and locally higher amounts are possible. Farther to the north, kind of south of a line from Natchez to Jackson to Columbus, you could see some localized flooding where up to four inches of rain could occur or locally higher amounts. But again, we're expecting it to be more localized the farther north you get. And with this system, there will likely be a sharp cutoff between the areas that receive a lot of rain and areas that receive very little rainfall. And for our area, that's ma mainly going to occur late Friday night through the daytime on Saturday with things beginning to taper off Saturday evening. Here's a map showing the expected rainfall totals across our area. Again, the highest amounts are expected to be in southeast Mississippi, where you could see up to four to six inches of rain. But areas as far north as, again, in Natchez to Jackson to Golden Triangle Line could see upwards of two to four inches of rain, with things cutting off to the northwest up across the delta. And then for Sunday, again, we're expecting the system to have pulled east of our area. There could still be some trailing scattered showers and thunderstorms, but most of the heavy rainfall and the flooding potential will be uh, earlier on as the system moves across the area. Uh, very late Friday and through the day on Saturday. That concludes our briefing for now. Again, we usually update these on Mondays and Thursdays and then as needed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks for reviewing.